نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Let's have a quick look at what we have learned so far. We learned that noun has four properties. First property being gender, second property type, third property status. Gender can either be masculine or feminine. By type, we mean either the noun can be proper or common. By status, we mean the role a noun plays in a sentence. Status could be of rafa, which means a doer. Status could mean nasb, which is a detail. Or status could be jar, which means the word that comes after of. In previous lesson, we learned about the Muslim chart. The first column being the singular, rafa, nasb, and jar. Second column being a dual, rafa, nasb, and jar. And third column being plural of rafa, nasb, and jar. For singular nouns, we look at the ending sound. Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. For dual and plural, we look at the ending combination. Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina. Ani and Aini are ending combination of two letters which tell us the status is either Rafa, Nasb or Jer in its dual form. Una, Ina, Ina give us a clue that it's an ending combination, so it has to be plural either in Rafa, Nasp, or Jar form. Today we'll be learning the female version of the Muslim chart, which is Muslimatun. Just by adding the round Ta, which is called Ta Marbuta, at the end of Muslim, the noun becomes feminine. For singular version of a Muslim woman, we will be looking at the ending sound. Muslimatun is singular rafa, Muslimatan is singular nasb, Muslimatin is singular jar. We have to memorize this chart as well. So let's repeat five times. Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. 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 But what if we want to talk about two Muslim women? Just like two Muslim men, we will be adding ani combination at the end of Muslim, but an additional ta before ani will be added, which will indicate that we are talking about two Muslim women. So from Muslimatun, it will become Muslimatani in its rafa form. And when we want to say two Muslim women in nasb or jar form, we will say muslimataini. It's going to be the same for nasb and jar, muslimataini. Without memorizing this chart, you won't be able to recognize the dual feminine nouns in the Quran. So it is a must to memorize this chart. Let's repeat it five times. Muslimatani, muslimataini, muslimataini. 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 Can you say it without looking at it three times? Now that you're comfortable with the singular and the dual form of Muslimatun chart, let's look into the plural form. The plural form of Muslimatun chart is very different from the plural form of Muslimun chart. In Muslim on chart, our ending combination was una and ina, whereas for the feminine Muslim chart, our combination is atun and atin. If we want to talk about more than two Muslim women in their rafa form, we will say it's muslimatun. And more than two Muslim women in its nasb and jar form will be muslimatin, muslimatin. Let's repeat this five times. Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. 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 Now try saying this once without looking at it. This is the complete chart of a Muslim woman. Just one more time, read it with me. 
Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. Muslimatani, Muslimataini, Muslimataini. Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Pay attention at these two words. Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Muslimatin can only be jar because it's in its singular form. Whereas Muslimatin can be nasb or jar because it's the plural form. Now a quick look at Muslim chart versus Muslimatun chart. By now you should be comfortable in recognizing the feminine and the masculine version of Muslim chart and also its rafa, nasb and jar singular, dual and plural forms. This is an ayah from Surah Al-Ahzab. We'll try to recognize the masculine and the feminine nouns by their ending combinations. It begins with inna. We haven't learned what inna is, so we leave that aside. Innal muslimina. Muslimina is masculine, plural, either nasb or jar form. Wal muslimati. The ending combination is a T, which looks like a feminine noun in its plural form, either nasb or jar. Wal mu'minina. The ending combination is ina, which is a giveaway. It is masculine plural noun. It's either nasb or jar. Wal mu'minati. The ending combination is a t, which is a giveaway. It is a feminine plural noun, either nasb or jar. Well, qanitina, ending combination of ina, which is masculine plural nasb or jar form. Well, qanitati, a t is an ending combination of feminine. Plural, either nasb or jar noun. Wasadiqina. Ina is a combination of masculine, plural, nasb or jar form. Wasadiqati. Ati is again a combination for feminine, plural, nasb or jar form. Wasabirina is a masculine, plural, nasb or jar form. Wasabirati is a feminine plural nasb or jar form. Well, khashi'ina, ina is a masculine plural nasb or jar form. Well, khashi'ati, ati is feminine plural nasb or jar form. To fully grasp today's concept, it's very important to go through these exercises. I have these homeworks for you. You have to put these five words into Muslimatun chart. Salihatun, Mu'minatun, kafiratun, mushrikatun, muslimatun. There's a list of words which you'll have to recognize either as feminine or masculine, singular, dual, plural, rafa, nasbojar. I'll do the first three for you. Al-muslimuna is masculine, plural, rafa. Wal-adiyati, feminine, plural, nasb or jar. Shafataini. The ending combination is taini. So it is feminine, dual, nasporger. I'll do some more for you. Qalbaini. The ending combination is aini. It is masculine, dual, nasporger. Asamawati. The ending combination is Ati. So it's feminine, plural, nasb or jar. Mujrimuna. The ending combination is una. So it's masculine, plural, rafa. Go through all of these words and pay attention whether it's an ending combination or ending sound. There are some challenging and confusing words in this homework. So pay special attention whether it's an Ending combination or ending sound. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.